He was a giant among his people, a tribal voice that resonated across Australia. The late lead singer of Yothu Yindi, Dr Yunipingu, was today farewelled at a state memorial service in northeast Arnhem Land. The former Australian of the Year was remembered as a musician, an educator and an ambassador for his people. Jano Gibson reports from the Arnhem Land community of Golkala. <laughs> As the sounds of clapsticks rang out in the ceremonial hall, Dr Yunipingu's vision could be heard loud and clear. Let us hold each other's hands, march together and raise one flag so we can all call Australia our home. From the remote communities of Arnhem Land to the halls of power in Canberra, hundreds of people came to say goodbye to a man who dreamed of a better future. In his own words, he was always dreaming of a brighter day when the waters will be won. Music was his ticket to stardom, an opportunity he used to promote reconciliation. You cannot compare this man to anyone else. He was humble, a man of vision, a man of philosophy, a man of wisdom, a man of determination. Dr Yunipingu toured the world with his band Yothu Yindi, spreading messages of hope and healing. They were much more than a band. They were a physical philosophy, a philosophy you could dance to. His death at the age of 56 might have silenced a powerful Indigenous voice, but others like Gurumul Yunipingu are following in his footsteps. <laughs> It was music that catapulted Dr Yunipingu onto the world stage, but many here were keen to pay tribute to his role as an educator in Arnhem Land. He was a teacher, a musician, an ambassador for younger people. He spent his life teaching, both inside and outside the classroom. A legacy that those here hope will last forever. Jano Gibson, ABC News, Gulkala.